it seems Shimano might be back with the new firmware. More power in boost, tunable overrun, and they're starting to win some of the power stages in the EDR. But riders, how does it compare to the powerhouse, the Bosch race? Let's find out. Riders, welcome back to Sands Bikes, where you know we only talk e-bikes, and today is all about the new firmware from Shimano for the EPA-01. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at what's new with the firmware, how to update it, I'm gonna chime in with some of my thoughts, and then we're gonna do an old-fashioned drag race with the powerhouse, the Bosch race, and really see what those differences are in the real world. And I do have a secret weapon, Pablo, my mate, who is the mountain goat. So we're both gonna do an uphill, like a technical one minute uphill. We're gonna time ourselves, then we're gonna average out that time just to keep it fair. So what's new with the firmware? You got a more powerful, aggressive, instant power boost mode. You also have overrun, which is tunable up to two meters. And then you have the fine tune for cutoff, which is great because you can actually fine tune it to go up to 25 Ks and completely cut off or ramp down to 25 so it's a smoother cutoff. I really like that. And how do you update it? Well, it's super simple. All you have to do is go to a Shimano service center and I went to eBike Wadarama. They did it in about half an hour. Absolute legends and I'll give them a little plug because they have to be the best e-bike mechanic shop in Spain for servicing and repairing motors. For a couple of hundred euros, they will repair pretty much any motor on the market compared to buying a new one. So definitely, if you've got a problem with your motor, definitely check them out. And before we go off and do that drag race, let me chime in and give you some thoughts. So I've been testing it for the last couple of days. I'm really impressed. Definitely more power, definitely more instant power, and I'm loving the overrun. And the 25K limiter, for me, it's not something I would use that much, but I do understand why they put it in for racing. And riders, if you're a fan of the channel, you know I'm a massive fan of the EEDR. And it was pretty obvious to me for the last six months that the riders on the Shimano EPA-01 were not riding the same firmware as I've been riding. So I kind of expected we were gonna see something like this, and it's definitely welcome. And I absolutely love the overrun that it's tunable, because I find the overrun a little bit dangerous, if I'm honest. Some switchbacks, some techie climbs you do. You don't want it, or you don't want the two meters. So I believe you can tune it up to, you have three settings to tune it, and also what I absolutely love, is you can have like a small kickback on the pedals and it cancels the overrun, very clever. And how does it compare to the Shimano EPA-01 with the original firmware? Well, I'm gonna say definitely 100% recommend it. It's not a game changer, but it's definitely a big improvement. And riders, when I said it's a free upgrade, you actually do have to go to a Shimano dealer. So if you didn't buy your bike at the Shimano dealer, it might cost you something because I believe it did take about half an hour. So think about that. And also the application, so the Shimano eTubes app, is still a little bit Mickey Mouse in my opinion. Like, so everything's been upgraded, but, and I upgraded my app, but I still can't do the tuning in my app. So maybe there's another update coming to the app. Anyway, the guys at eBike Wanarama guaranteed me, and I actually saw it on the computer, that they put everything in the highest mode for this test. So now, Let's go and do the drag race. So now we've got Pablo the Mountain Goat on the Bosch race and in the hands of Bayer. And Pablo the Mountain Goat, 37 seconds on the Bosch race. Now it's my turn. Not sure I'm gonna do that, because he's a lot fitter than me. Now Bear, call me in. Ready, set, and go. Come on. It is stickier. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, what's the time there? 40 seconds, 40 seconds, 14. That killed me. Pablo had three seconds on me. Let's go see what the Shimano EPA can do. 
Okay, now we've got Pablo on the EPI-01. Pablo, how do you reckon it's gonna go? I don't know, the Bosch is pretty fast, so we will see. Okay, Bea, when you're ready. Ready, set, and go! So right, as Pablo told me, he actually made a mistake and got two pedal strikes. So the time is higher, but let's see how I go. And Bay, when you're ready. Ready, set, ah, Come on! Bear. 43.4. So let's analyze that data and then we'll do a recap when I catch my breath. Okay, legend riders, there you go. And Pablo, thank you so much okay. for your epic hill climbing. And the mountain goat did get beaten in one of the runs, but he did two, pedal, two pedal strikes, but I'm still gonna take it. So let's look at the numbers. So Pablo on the Bosch race got 37 seconds. And then with two pedal strikes, as I said, with the Shimano EP-01 with the new firmware, got 44 seconds. But for me, with no mistakes, a little bit slower on the, with the Bosch with 40 seconds, and then 43 seconds on the Shimano. So there's three seconds in it with no mistakes. And I'm gonna say, obviously, the Bosch is faster. Yep. Um, and you can feel it on the trail, you can definitely feel it. But Six months ago, when we were using the original firmware of the Shiner EP-01, when we did the Epic Hill Climb test, link in the show notes, the Bosch came second, Rocky Mountain came first, with 35 seconds. And then the Shimano came last with 41 seconds. So that's a six second difference. So on today's test, there was a three second difference and six months ago, six seconds. So that's a dramatic improvement, but the Bosch is still faster. Pablo, tell me what you felt on that, you know, on the 40 second climb between each motors. What what did you feel different? Yeah, I uh, really noticed the the Bosch is more powerful. It's more difficult to to manage. Yeah. Yeah, the the Shimano is 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 powerful, is manageable, but less powerful. Yeah. You know, it's you need to to play more with the gearing to get to the climb properly. I got the little, little strike. strike. Yeah. Yeah. Not get a stack, but almost. Yeah. yeah. For me, the Bosch will just pull in low and high cadence. The Shimano still wants to be, to really get the peak power, you need to be in high cadences. Yep. You need yep. to be changing gears constantly. Yep. It has a little bit less power, yep. it feels. Uh, well, in the time it does, but it feels more controllable. And Pablo, if you're racing, which mode are you going to go for? Yeah, for racing, I will go for the Bosch. Yeah. yeah. For me, me definitely too. I think Bosch still has the edge. But saying that, what is Ryan Gilchrist riding? Because he's winning all the power stages. Yep. I don't know if he's riding that firmware. He could be riding something different. Yep. Or yeah. just be an absolute <laughs> Aussie powerhouse. <laughs> yes. But if you're not racing, which motor would you pick? Maybe I, I will go for the Shimano because it's, it's so manageable. Yeah. yeah, you have the power, but if you don't need it, it's just more. Before, like, I thought I was gonna really love the Bosch race motor. I love it. But it is like listening to rock music and it's like, it's hardcore all the time. Yeah. The, the bike is just aggressive. You need to bring your A game or it's gonna teach you yeah. a lesson. You, you have to be focused all the time. Yeah, and the Shimano for me is just a little bit more relaxing. It doesn't make as much noise on the climb. I think it's, it's quieter. Mm -hmm. sure. I'm gonna say like these improvements are definitely bringing it closer if you're racing, Bosch is still the winner. But for me, it's getting a lot closer now. Yep, sure. Anyway, Pablo, thank you so much for your time. No problem. And riders, I hope you enjoyed that. And you know, like if you have any questions, like always, put them in the comments. Pablo and I will definitely get back to you. 
And if you haven't subscribed to Sam's Likes, please do share it with like-minded people. We're gonna see you soon.